Okay, folks, so I'm literally being, um, oops. So today you're going to get a chance to see me working on, on art. I did a video, a little bit more of a detailed video on, um, a discussion today. You know, the talk of the town is P. Diddy. Um, I can give you my two cents, literally, <laughs> about what I think about that whole situation. I think it's a disaster. We know, I know back in, back in the day when I was growing up, because that was the era that I was in, in the 80s and the 90s, this was like, like we grew up knowing the music industry had problems. So, you know, and I've experienced certain things myself, and I feel as if, as a female, to protect yourself, and this is Women's History Month, right? Start doing your own thing. Create your own space. I, you know, I've em emphasized this before. I don't know if my sister took me to heart, but I have said to my sister, listen, you should really buy your own equipment. It's just not, it's not the, the industry. I, there might be some good people out there, but I've also met some pretty rough people too. Okay, so that's just a quick talk. The video that I'm doing or that I've done today is a little bit more of, I'm going to bring this down, a little bit more of a talk on, on, it's, it's very hard to do something and have me, you know, but, but I can, actually now I can answer questions. So if you have any questions today, I'll be sitting and doing my painting. I'll just do this for a little bit. Okay. People said they like to see me, my hands moving, so I'm moving my hands now on a different spectrum. You get a chance to see me in a different um, light. Um, you guys can see the video that I've had a discussion on. Um, this, is, this is a, I'm trying to get a detailed painting here. This is literally just work in progress. Okay, I started this a while ago and I'm just, it's just has, I haven't worked on it for a while, so I felt like I should probably work on it. And if, if I need to go into the lives, this is my, this is what I'm going to be doing for a little bit. Watercolor, I'm using watercolor, three, three basic colors, black, gray, and there's a little bit of purple. Okay, there's blue, I actually used blue um, blue, black, and white to make, and there, I did, yet, yeah, yeah, blue, black, and white, and the purple, how did I make the purple? Oh, I used a bit of red, so yeah, I guess I used more than, but I'm just using the base colors, and I'm, I'm molding the colors together right now. Okay, I know I'm a little early for my, I just want to get this out of the way, because I have things I have to do, and it's okay if people watch this afterwards. Um, but I don't think I have an actual live on YouTube. I, I think I did it on and I, I had all these other paintings, but what happened is people like them. This is why I'm so scared, so nervous about painting sometimes when I tell people that I do it, because then in the end people want the artwork and not, not everybody ends up paying. So it's like, well, then I'll just paint for myself from now on. So that's, that's where I'm doing. I just, I don't want to make anything that people are not going to pay for. This is going to be in my space, in my own space. This is one of the pieces that I'm trying to develop for myself. Oops. Gotta work on that a little bit more. I have a whole bunch of different brush sizes. do this for a little bit and then I have things I have to do like Poshmark. This should not be, this should be a little bit lighter over here I guess. So now we're going to lighten this up. Welcome in, I'm just doing some painting today. I did music, whoops, ah! I did music yesterday and now we're switching it over because I have multiple skills and it's just a way to calm me down after anxiety and stress. So that is what I'm doing today. 
Art is a therapy, right? It's a form of therapy. So, yeah. more of this so I can tap this a little. I'll be right back. I will be right back. Okay. Two seconds. Put this here. And all of these skills come in handy for interior decor. I like to decorate, so this is part of what I enjoy doing. I like to decorate places and things. So I paint. Besides doing soundproofing, this was actually my, this is my degree degree, right? Studying the arts. So that was my, that was my go-to. Welcome into my space. I'm just doing, I'm just reworking my painting. I have not used I haven't done this in a while, so I've decided that today is the day. And this is like, I work from home, so I can kind of work on different things at the same time or whenever, yeah. So if you have any questions, I can actually see the questions today. I'm not too far away. I'm not kind of moving around too much. Feel free to ask any questions. I do music as well. Um, I was just talking about the P. Diddy kind of incidents. I, I don't want to get into too much of it, but all I know is that I knew about the whole stories back in the day because I'm from that era and it's just, it's a disaster. And as a female, I think it's always important to put, in, put into perspective that you have to be cautious and you have to protect yourself and if you want to do music, consider doing, like setting up a studio space for yourself. And then I can help you, if you have any questions, I can help guide you in the right direction versus the wrong direction. And that's how I do it. I like to mentor people when they have questions to ask. Welcome in, I cannot see people's names. Thank you for popping over. If you do have any questions, feel free. I'm just painting today. I usually am doing music projects, but as you can see, I have multiple skills and my skills come in handy in different ways. I wanted to have a whole, oops. I wanted to have a whole room of like Ferraris. <laughs> so I'm like, well, I'll paint them. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just, I'm starting off. This is nothing. This is not a finished piece. This is definitely a work in progress. I have other ones that have like the wings, you know, the wings out and everything, but I wanted more something more classic. So I'm doing something more classic. I can do those other ones, but let's start with this one and then see where it goes. And then when you see all the videos together, you'll see what it's about. My whole channel has all sorts of things on there. Yeah, I start, out, I start off with talking music, but I definitely do branch out because as somebody that starts her own business, you can't have one skill. That's kind of pointless. That's a pointless uh, development. You must have multiple skills. Okay.
and I'm spending less time on Facebook and more time on YouTube because uh, Facebook is driving me a little bit cuckoos. So we're we're branching out now. I think I'm done. I think I'm done trying to um, be over over entertaining, which is what Facebook requires. I'm not an I'm I'm an entertainer, but I'm not an entertainer like that. Like I'm not a comedian, if you know what I mean. Comedians seem to do well on Facebook. I, I I'm just I'm not a comedian, so. I can't say that that is the direction I want to go in. I like more relaxing things like painting and stuff like that. So now I can, I can add some more here. I know, I think, the, I don't know when this is for me. This is the right time to go live because the rest of my day I have to do my Poshmark. Oh, I was invited into doing a Poshmark event, which is... Like, I'll be hosting it, as usual. So that will be fun, bringing people together in our area, in my area. And then, yeah, so that will be interesting. I'm just kind of getting a tone together here in the background. Nothing too crazy, just just ed just working on it a little bit. Going live. Just because, just because it's accessible and I can. So yeah. Welcome in. Thanks for popping over. If you have any questions on anything, just let me know. I'm just doing some therapy today. <laughs> Art therapy, as you would say. So the other day I was doing um, soundproofing, the stuff in the background. I did the soundproofing. I redid it. Um, this is all in my studio space. So I usually, people would usually see the music on the one side. I'm now using this as like a little table, my keyboard. And I'm using my, I'm doing my painting on my easel, which is this thing that's, that's holding up the, key, the, um, the art piece. So I'm sort of, I'm, you know, I'm just demonstrating that, you know, I'm doing multiple skills here. And by using these, all these skills, you can decorate your own space. Um, you don't have to hire people to do it for you. You can do it on your own. These are all, these are all little tips and tricks, right? You can do everything if you put your mind to it. I usually have more detailed Ferraris. This is just a piece of work that's in progress. Um, the other ones I had are no longer because people wanted them, so I don't have them anymore. I don't have any of my cars. <laughs> so I'm starting a new one because I don't have any of the old cars. So this is, this is a good time to work on a piece. Welcome in. Just doing a painting. It's just a relaxing day. No sound, just a little bit of silence. If you have any questions, please just feel free.
to lighten up the car some more. Mainly the front, I think. Let's get this together. Should actually do this light. Let's get that light done. I'll add the grays just now. Okay. I think for the smaller sections, I'll use a different brush in a bit. In a bit. I should probably this is the background. This is here. Where does this go? This is the oh, that's the, the pipe over there. So this is the bottom of the pipe. Okay. So let's just see what's going on here. It's a pipe. Yeah, okay. Then I need to make this gray. Over here. This needs to be gray too. Welcome in. Lighten that up in a few moments. Give it a few seconds, and I'll add some white there. So yeah, that's the car. I'm just painting today. I'm not finished with it. This is obviously work in progress. It's not going to be done in an hour. These usually take me weeks to do. I start and stop depending on what it is I have to do, but this is like my therapy time. So yes. And I have a video that I'm going to edit in a bit, um, talking a little bit more and painting at the same time about the music industry because the past couple of days has been real interesting. I'm like, well, finally, at least justice will be served. So, and then people know, you know, get a chance to know a little bit more about the industry because it is true what they say. It is, it is very true. That is why I started my own little space because I don't want to be involved in that. It's too much. It's too much stress and I don't need to go through another problem again. So we're, we have moved past that life and you're, you know, creating my own 
vision, right? You're creating like a starting a business of your own, but naturally you're not doing it, not to do it in vain, but to do it because it's for the right reasons and to do it because you know that this is what you got to do. So that's why I'm doing it. That's exactly why I'm doing this. And also doing a bit of art keeps the space interesting. I mean, I would be bored if I was just doing the same thing over and over again. Personally, yes. Like you want to see things happening within the space. That's how I see it, you know? That should have been dark. It's okay. This will dry in a few moments. It will dry in a few moments. Okay, yeah, it's drying. Okay, this needs to be lightened. I need to readjust that over here. And if you want to talk art, we can have discussions on depth and contrast and colors and the color wheel. Because that, that's what I studied, right? I studied music, but also my focus in university was actually the arts. I brought the music in with the arts, but I can, I, I was teaching art classes. That's, that's what I also, I also, I also teach art. So I teach arts and I teach music um, because I know both. I even fashion, but yeah. So you can see what I'm doing here. So, you know, it's always good to break up the whole concept. I think, I think art is, you know, you got to make the visualization happen. Nobody's going to do it for you. You got to figure it out for yourself, right? So, but if you want to see more art, like action, instead of just music, then I shall do that. I, I need to finish this painting anyway, so you guys can watch me build this up as well. Obviously go back and forth with the music, but yeah, this is, this is my other side. This is my other side, the calm side. This is the side that has to put the thought into the idea before the idea actually manifests. So even before I was coming up with stuff, painting was my go-to. Some more white paint. This is watercolor. It's not oil paint. I do not use oil. Watercolor is safe. You don't have to worry about the toxic. I mean, there might be some stuff in the watercolor, but not as bad as oil paints, I think. So, yeah. I'm going to blend these colors a little bit more at the top here. Versus if I was in like a job job, like a, a job where, I mean, this is like for me, building up a business is a job, right? This is my full-time position type of thing. But if I was in a job where they wanted me to do different things and not arts, I wouldn't be able to do my paintings. So this opens up that door to allow me to do all the things I love doing, which is all I ask. I just want to be myself. I don't want to be anybody else but me. And that's, that's how I see life now. I'm getting too old to 
worry about what's popular and what's not popular and what works and what doesn't work. I mean, yeah, make it work. But the whole key of life, the key to life is just to be yourself. That's, that's all I want. Just to be, allow me to be myself. That's it. Allow me to be who I am. Add a little bit more here. I'm trying to get a depth for 3D right now. It's going to take a bit of time for this to actually completely be finished. But, yeah, that's where I am right now. If you have any questions, please just don't hesitate to ask. So, you know, people talk about craft and arts and how to do a business on, you can do lots of things. I also do graphic design. I build my own websites. I mean, not from scratch. My husband does that, but I don't do that. I do WordPress and Wix. But I generally have my own pictures. I don't hire people to do it. Um, it's something you can do for yourself if you have the time and the patience. And, you know, product is marketable. So if you're either, whether it's a painting or jewelry that you make, you can use that as the springboard to a business. And in my case, I chose a variety of different things. Now, I use Poshmark for selling stuff. I can't sell a painting like this, but I can certainly sell the prints of the paintings on Poshmark. That's, that's doable. Sometimes it's not about paintings anymore. Also, the, music, the art industry has changed. People are buying prints versus actual paintings. You can go once again to Ross or Marshalls and TJ Maxx to pick up a print and put it up in your house and you're not paying $500 for a painting. Like I, you know, artists, charge money for the work that they're doing. So lately it's been artists give a company a, a photograph of the pieces and then they do the prints and the prints generate money. So rather than spending five, six hundred dollars on a painting, you're then minimalizing that price to twenty five dollars for a print that the artist has mass produced, right? Which is which is viable, but it's just not the same as it used to be. You can't just paint a painting and get money for it these days. It's just not, it's not unless you're doing an exhibition, but even then some people are not prepared to pay for the prices unless it's a Van Gogh or a, I don't know, Monet or a Renoir. I don't know. Yeah. So it's, and most of those are in gallery spaces. So I don't know. Just saying, just saying. So sometimes just being the artist and enjoying the experience being the creative might be might be just as good. It's a therapy, right? Like, and I'm scared to show people my work besides just doing it because people want it when they see it in person. So I get like nervous. <laughs> I, st I stopped painting for a long, long time because every time I painted, my pieces would disappear and it was just very upsetting. So I just stopped. I stopped. And I'm starting because I know that I'm secure and I don't have to worry about anything like going missing now. And it has happened, it has happened. <laughs> Paintings have disappeared or family members want it and they're not prepared to pay you. So it's just, so I just do it for myself at the moment. I don't sell my paintings. I do sell prints on occasion. I do digital illustrations that I do sell on Poshmark. Poshmark's great because you can actually create your own little boutique if, as an artist. That's a business in itself and you don't have to pay. I mean, yeah, okay, so they have, if you wanna do Posture VA, which is what I use, then you pay a little bit to have them, you know, reload and um, circulate your, your items daily, 
which is important because that's how you're, you succeed on Poshmark, for example, is the consistency of sharing, which is a little hard if you're not prepared to put the time into it. But yeah, I mean, what Shopify, you can do Shopify as well. Etsy, Etsy charges a bit of, a, quite a bit of money though. I wouldn't, I tried it before and it just seemed not to work for me. So I, I stopped and then, then you had, then you had the whole thing with the COVID and everything just went crazy. So I don't know how those people survived on Etsy when that was happening. But yeah, it's been interesting. So yeah, besides music, I can definitely talk art. That's not, that's never been an issue. And how to market and promote and all that stuff. No problem. But prints, people, people buy prints now. They, they, I don't think a lot of people are buying paintings. I think they're, they pref the preference is to do a painting and then make the prints and then mass produce that painting as prints. So, for instance, I would take a photograph of this and then I'd make a print or have prints ordered. Or you could order prints on like Poshmark, which is what I do, or Etsy, and then sell those. And yeah, I mean, it's just, yeah, there are ways to do it, but larger expensive pieces people are just not willing to pay for so that's part of the reason why i stopped painting is just i was just tired of trying to figure that out only to realize that people just want prints now so that's it but you could make some great prints off of a painting that's that's all i know good quality photograph no problem no problem I'm just doing a background because I didn't have the gray in the background before. I'm just reworking it so this pops out a little bit. We can see it's like popping out a little bit more. So I now can go back in and make sections lighter once there's more gray going on here, which is what's going on. So. And the other day somebody asked me, they don't know what I'm doing because I was sewing. So you can see I'm just showing you all the skills that I have. And then you guys can take a look at whatever videos and I'll link them to all the videos. And you can see, take whatever you need from it and learn from it and, you know. And yeah, each one of them could be a business. That's what I'm business within itself, right? So yeah, I'm not here to be anybody else but myself. That's how I see it. Welcome in. My name is Sinta. I do a variety of things. My name's from Indonesia. It's not American. It's not African. It's Asian. So I, I, my mom gave me an interesting name. <laughs> it is what it is. I, oh, you get it. That's good. Yeah. No, it's, it's hard not to be yourself. And you know, when you have like a normal job, you don't have that pleasure or you, you don't have that capability of being yourself. It's so hard, you know, you can, it's just better. I just, my theory is these days you can create so many things and build it off on the internet 
that that's the place you can be yourself. Like offices, you can't be yourself. You know, you're taught to be yourself, but then you go into your into businesses and and you can't be yourself. It's so crazy. It's like how how can people survive off of being something they're not? For me as an artist, I have to be myself. There's no there's no way around this one. The most creativity will come when when you feel like you are just you. So, yeah. This needs to be lighter over here. Okay, and then I'm going to clock out in a few moments because I did another video. I think it works well with a little bit of a video and then a little bit of a live and then I do have the shorts. So I think when I do the shorts, you can't just use this as the short. It's a little hard. It's best to have, if you're going to connect it to a video, it's best to have a video and then use the shorts on there. I just, I haven't found it a better way or else none of it's connected and it just doesn't make any sense. So that's why I'm doing it this way, just to get some things going on. I just wanna see, do I need to darken? I need to lighten this up at the bottom. No? Yeah. Over here, let's just see. It's a little, little wide, hey? So this needs to be like angled. I'll work on that later. I use a lot of white, that's what I know. That's what I know as I focus on some color and then the white goes right back into that. I'm gonna get off in a few moments, folks, but you can watch the replay if you are interested, so you can see that I am diverse in my skills and each skill is used according to what it is that needs to be done in the company or the project that I'm starting or whatever. Now I've done events management, so what's in, when you're doing events management, it's always useful to be skilled in a variety, so you can, skilled in a variety of different ways, so you can talk to people in different fields sort of makes sense, right? You want to make sure that you can talk to people if you're going to do events or develop a project like that so that there is no confusion or you can help out. Because, yeah, so you want to be part of that process there. You don't want to direct people into doing things if you don't know what you're doing. That's, that's what I say. <laughs> You want to know different fields so you can help out. That's that's what you call running a business, right? If it gets to that point. Okay. So I'm leaving it here for now. I don't know what time it is. It's 12.30. Yeah, 30 minutes is good. And then I'll put in, thank you for popping over. I'm just painting today. This is one of my paintings. It's watercolor. Got it all over my fingers right now. Generally use this space for like the music stuff, but we shifted it into a painting moment. So you guys can see just a clip of the other side of me and then I'll get back into music tomorrow. And I'm gonna head on out because I wanna get some stuff done now like Poshmark and all these other things that I swore I was gonna do today. Make sure that this doesn't get into my music equipment. I need to put this down. Thank you for popping over. I'm cleaning up now. Well, sort of cleaning up. Yeah. Because I'm going to do some other things for today. This was just the beginning of my day, I suppose. Okay. So you can see what I've done. This is the car. I'm still in the works. 
So from a small painting to a larger piece. So I've just, you know, I've just kind of made it bigger. That's it. Okay. Let me know if you have any questions. I just need to take the water to, to the kitchen quickly. I don't want it to spill on my electronic stuff. That would be terrible. Okay. So you guys can see what I'm doing. I'll be right back. So I'm going to have a video for later. So I've brought up a small, slight discussion of what's going on right now in the music industry and why I kind of do my own thing. But this is what I've just decided to do today so you guys can see that I actually do paint because I think some people are like, how are you able to do all these things? And it's because this is what I studied. And that's it. And thank you again for joining me. And I will see you guys or you guys, yeah, I'll see you. Hopefully I get on here tomorrow and do the same type of thing, okay? Thank you again for popping over and visiting me. Thanks. Bye.